Hello, thank you for joining your community library. Hope all is well with you and your family. During these times, we're still experiencing the COVID-19 pandemic. What a better time for you and your children to do more reading. We just simply encourage you to read. It doesn't matter what it is you're reading. I brought some articles today, and some magazines, and things that may encourage you to read. On the Land, this is about community and conservation. A lot of good information in this brochure. Talks about rain and the next generation of steps as it moving toward working in um, environments and forest land and parks. It shares a variety of community information in regards to the metro parks, watershed, and how to preserve items. Community and conservation. The Horizon is an African American art and entertainment magazine. It keeps you updated with a lot of the restaurants, beauty shops, and a lot of the entrepreneur businesses of African Americans in Cuyahoga County. It's a wealth of information in this magazine. Okay. <laughs> Even the flies want a little literacy these days. You also feel free to contact this organization if you like to share a piece of your literature or something that you would like to write and submit. Talks about the different places to party, which we know partying is limited at this time based on the COVID. Fashion, if you're into fashion with men, Mr. Alberts, 618 Prosper, Prospect Avenue tells you how to get dressed. Funeral, Cadillac, cars, automobiles, best place to buy tires, appliances. Covers the whole gamut to help you with your needs, your daily needs. A Taste of Italy talks about specific restaurants all over Cuyahoga County. Auto body and accessories, keeping your vehicles up to date, nice and clean. That's the Horizon Arts and Entertainment magazine. Chronicles. This particular newspaper is dedicated to veterans and all who love them. Veterans. It has a wealth of information as it relates to veterans different holidays, activities all over the county, things they do for veterans. They highlight specific veterans all over the world, services available at the VA. Um, they give you some things to do in regards to retiring from the military. The Chronicles of World War II keep you updated on things as it relates to the military. After 110 years of aviation, Navy gets his first black female fighter pilot. Sounds interesting. Really, really good reading. I'd also like to say happy belated Veterans Day to all the veterans out there, male and females. Now we have the Can Journal, a publication of collective art networks Cleveland. This highlights a lot of the museums and cultural and theatrical places in Cuyahoga County. They also have pictures of the exhibits being shown at a lot of the museums in the city. Quite a few of the museums are free on specific days and the prices are limited for seniors and children and families. So if you're into the theatrics and arts and culture in the city, we have a lot to offer. The Can Journal.
New York Times. New York Times. Quite a few of our patrons come in and ask for the New York Times. It's just their version of what's going on in the world, and they put a twist on it. Of course, this newspaper carries everything from business to science to jobs to arts and theaters. It's like a basic newspaper. It's just a lot smaller. The New York Times. Stay abreast of what's going on, not just here in our city, but in other cities as well. If you are a business person, the Cranes Cleveland business is for you. Still looking for a fit? Talks about real estate, places to live, development. The Richmond Brothers Company Factory, a long vacant Cleveland landmark, finally hits the market. Bet you didn't know that. It talks about colleges growing graduate programs. The jobs that will be available in the future based on the COVID and just based on research and statistics. Different developments going up in different areas. Innovators, new entrepreneurs in the communities. It gives a list of great banks and how they're rated in Cuyahoga County. That's always good information. Talks about the updates in technology as it relates to development and real estate. And it has a wealth of information, of course, about finances and investing. The Cranes Cleveland Business Magazine for all you business and entrepreneurs out there. LiveSpecial.com. This is a resource guide for individuals, caregivers, and families with special needs. It focuses on the different activities, the programs, resources, and information to help your loved one reach their fullest potential, even if they have a mental, physical, or social disability. Parents and caregivers can also send articles to this wonderful magazine and they will publish your articles. This art, these articles focus on autism and a variety of other mental handicaps. They even recommend different therapies for different disabilities. Art therapy is something that if the person that you are taking care of is able to do it, it's very relaxing and therapeutic. Music therapy, they also offer that. And they have a wealth of new businesses that are specifically catered to the disabled. This is a wonderful magazine. It is free. LiveSpecial.com. Most of this information is free. Northeast Ohio, Boomer and Beyond. Better living after 50. This is geared towards senior professionals, um, seniors looking for jobs after they've retired. Something to keep you busy and keep that mind going. And the game changers after 50 around Cuyahoga County community. has a wealth of information in here, resources for seniors, living facilities, nutritional habits, the benefits of medical marijuana, great books to read on your downtime. You have quite a bit of that right now. Activities for parents to do over the weekend or grandparents with their grandchildren. Outdoor activities before it gets too cold. Recipes. Insurance.
Medicaid information, volunteering opportunities. It covers a big gamut of information for those 50 and over. Boomer and beyond. Northeast Ohio parent, for all the parents and extended family parents. Has a wealth of information for families or parents to do activities with their children, not only out and about, but at home during this time. This is a wonderful time to bond with your children and grandchildren. Information about colleges, Tri-C, has a wonderful STEM program. Of course, a lot of the programs, all of the programs are virtual now at most of our facilities because of the COVID. Bouncing back, how families can stay in touch and keep moving forward during the COVID. They suggest you get a reading room together for your child while they're at home. Making meaningful connections, touching bases with resources and information and activities to keep your children's mind stimulated during this time. They talk about different virtual school options. Um, boosting your social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, in a positive manner, no doubt. Connecting through the arts. Youth love arts and music. That may be a great way to get your children to read. Libraries are hosting a variety of webinars and podcasts and we really are really beefing up their media technology so that you can still engage with your community libraries. This has a host and wealth of information. Northeast Ohio parent. You never stop being a parent. A virtual Buckeye Book Fair a virtual Buckeye Book Fair. Book Fair Online, something new. In the past, of course, we've had big book fairs at libraries, uh, malls, and all kinds of places, but based on the COVID, doing it virtually. This highlights some of your new authors and old authors with a variety of books for all ages. It is also a diverse book, and this runs through November 30th, and if you're interested in purchasing these books, you'll have to do it online, of course. The Virtual Buckeye Book Fair. During this time, most of us have a lot of time, or a little bit of time on our hands. All that we want to do is just encourage you to read. You can still move forward even under the current circumstances. Hope all is well with you and your family. Thank you. Take care and see you next time.